Hello everyone. Um, so I guess I should introduce myself. My name is AJ. Um, I haven't actually started doing videos or anything like that. So I apologize if this comes off a little bit strange or I'm not really looking straight at the camera. I have a phone and a ring light and uh, I've always thought about kind of doing this, but I never really started because I didn't think I would really kind of have the vibe, I guess, that most people have, but whatever at this point. Um, so a lot of people have been asking me to do a video on my um, plug collection. Now, if you don't know what a plug is, a plug is a piece of jewelry that is worn in a stretched piercing. Um, most people know what plugs are. They normally see smaller ones than like my size or sizes larger, uh, but they can go to be very large. Uh, this is mainly um, something that historically was selected to tribes um, all over the world, different types of tribes from the Amazon to Africa to India, et cetera, Polynesian um, islands as well. And it has been more recently adopted in the past, like, eh, you know, 1990s and things like that um, by more of a metal type body mod culture. And it is becoming, again, it's kind of goes through waves. It started a lot in the early 90s, uh, hit the peak, I think, around the late 2000s, and then became uh, is becoming popular again. Um, I'm seeing a lot of like TikToks and things like that of people kind of like showing off their you know their plugs and unfortunately stretching very unsafely which i'm not going to really get into in this video this is more of a collection video um that people have been requesting um now plugs can come in various um forms you can get them either in a plug form which is like this this is made of solid glass these are glassware studio fade plugs these are probably one of my favorite pairs of plugs and they are kind of uneven right now you can see kind of slide it doesn't hurt by the way if your plugs are hurting you shouldn't be wearing them just so you know. Um, so these are a plug style. I also have an eyelet style um, plug. An eyelet is something that has a hollow opening. Um, and these are industrial strength. Okay. 38 millimeter industrial strength, single flared um, stainless steel plugs. Now, I'm not going to get off my, I'm not going to get on my high horse really big, but like these are the best stainless steel plugs you can buy. If you want to invest in a good pair of plugs, these are by far my favorite pair that I wear during the summertime. Don't wear metal during the winter. Trust me. Um, so I do have quite a few plugs. I'm actually going to uh, cut this out and then go ahead and show you guys my collection um, via the other side of this camera. So I'll see you guys soon. All right, so I am back. Um, I had to like shine my ring light really, really brightly because it is starting to get dark out. But this is how I actually have my plug collection showing just right in front of my window here. And then I just have some like small areas. And then my, of course, more expensive plugs will be in these. And then anything that doesn't really fit in there, like these weights up here, will stay up there. Um, and then, of course, <laughs> sorry, I have a lot of dirty uh, makeup brushes. This is also my makeup room, so I have my makeup brushes, some stuff, you know, things like that. Uh, so I apologize if it's looking a little, a little funky here. Now, I'm going to go ahead and start by going through the bottom to the top, okay? So on the bottom here, are a l as you can see, I've kind of outgrown this uh, area, so I apologize for that. Um, but these are my wood plugs, okay? Um, so things that are made of wood. And almost, I believe all of these are America Organic. America Organic is, I'm sorry, America, America with an O, Organics is a wood plug company. They make various different um, size plugs. These are just by far some of my favorite. I have quite a few, obviously some maple um, and some cabochon. And then I have some Chechnyan. I have uh, these wild olive wood plugs are by far my favorite. I wear these all the time. And they are probably, one. they're so beautiful and they're gorgeous when they're in. Now I remember if you have wood plugs, you need to take very good care of them. Um, you need to make sure that you're oiling them properly and do not wear them in water. Um, I've seen a few people on Reddit who have actually stated that they would wear their plugs and their wooden plugs in the shower. Do not do that. It can expand and crack the wood. You do not want to do that. A light jojoba oil uh, movement once in a while is good. I have some weights down here. Nothing really crazy. This is like a cat eye or sorry, I thought it was a cat eye. It is something else. This was given to me as a gift. I don't wear a lot of weights like that very often. I have some gorilla glass weights that I just received. I have this gorilla glass 
um, size weight, which is, if you can see, it's very shifty, very beautiful. This is a decoric, um, and the other one is on the back there. And then, of course, I have some more Chechen, uh, and then some zebra wood in there as well. So that's all my America Organic. Now I'm going to pull up this next one. I'm going to move it and put it like this so that it doesn't fall. Don't give me a heart attack, okay? Oh, God. <laughs> I'm so afraid. So I have two um, glassware studios. Now, when people start um, stretching, this is very, very normal to have. I highly suggest these. They are single flare, uh, just, and I apologize, they are a little bit dusty because they were sitting out in my... Uh, bathroom and then I just threw them in here. So I apologize. I know that's kind of gross. Um, but as you can see, they're very thin. They're very light, very good for stretching, especially in larger sizes. And I have a backup here. Reason I have a backup, as you can tell, very light. They do shatter. So that can happen. Um, I have a pair, a pair of chaos ear skins for when I am wearing weights. I don't wear silicone very often. It's just not a favorite of mine. Um, any cheap silicone, anything like that, unfortunately doesn't work very well in my ears. I just have very, I have, I don't have sensitive ears, but I am sensitive to silicone and plastic. So you won't see any acrylic or anything like that in this, um, in this video. Um, I have some Glassware Studios, uh, double flared eyelets with honeycomb, double flared eyelets. If you can see here, like the design on the inside. And then I have, um, these, and these are Diablo, um, obsidian these are obsidian no i apologize these are black onyx that's black onyx i'm so sorry uh black onyx and that's diablo uh, organics which is the brand and then more glassware studio here these are bloodstone which are really cool if you can kind of see they're borosilicate um and so you can see they kind of have this really cool like indent inside and then the glass kind of comes up how they blew the glass it's very pretty um i also have these ones these were actually flawed but I thought they looked really cool. They're like a serpentine. And so I got those. Those are really fun. Um, these are Gorilla Glass Power Plugs, uh, the black, uh, the blue and yellow. I haven't opened them yet. Uh, they've been sitting in there for a little bit. I need to wear them, but I'm just, sometimes I'm just a little bit behind on wearing my plugs. Now, <sighs> Gorilla Glass is by far my favorite company when it comes to plugs. Why? Because I wear a lot of glass. Uh, glass is very um, good if you have sensitive ears, things like that, um, and they are by far my favorite because of the way that they make their plugs, which are just absolutely beautiful. Um, so here are some of my Gorilla Glass. I have, again, a pair of power plugs. These are the Orange and Aqua. Um, these are Decorix. These are the green purple, I believe, lavender purple. If you can see, they kind of shift and move. They're really cool. Uh, these are the turquoise dark with the flower indent, the mind flower indent on the inside. Very beautiful. These are also power plugs. They are serpentina. You see that's all glass in there and it's like a very, very glittery um, green, like dark green in there. When you see it in the sunlight, these are absolutely beautiful. Again, you can kind of see in the back, beautiful pair of plugs. Um, these right here are the orange, oh, orange, green, lavender, if I remember correctly, or golden lavender, golden lavender, my apologies. These are golden lavender. Those are beautiful. Now, these are trichorics. They do not make these anymore, um, but this was the silver, blue, green. They don't make them anymore, which is kind of sad because they are very beautiful. Um, but as you can see, they have a lot of air bubbles in them. They counted that as a uh, de defect, so they stopped making them. And then the silver, green, pinks. It's my favorite pair of plugs by Gorilla Glass. It took me um, forever to get these because by the time that I was at 38 millimeter, they stopped making them. Um, so it took me a few years actually. And then I eventually was able to get a hold of Gorilla Glass uh, through a piercer and they were able to make these for me. Um, so these are custom made for me um, by Gorilla Glass and they are absolutely gorgeous. My favorite pair. I, I wear them all the time, but I'm also kind of scared to wear them sometimes. Oh, that's heavy. Oh, Jesus. I'm so sorry. Um, so here are some of my other wood plugs. I actually thought that I had all of them in there, but I guess I was wrong. Um, so again, I have some Chechen right here. Um, these are just eyelets. They're just eyelets. Um, these are pink ivory Mayan eyelets. They call them Mayan eyelets because they are just a little bit thicker. Um, very beautiful. I have uh, these ones, uh, which are mother and pearl, I believe, just mother of pearl in this geometric shape. 
and then this one as well um with the seashell indents which are just absolutely beautiful and these two um, are maple um maple wood very beautiful those are um, ones that i wear quite often now i'm going to start to get into oh my goodness um some of my stone plugs now oh so sorry a lot of my stone plugs are custom made okay there is some glass in here too but most of my stone plugs are custom made um these were custom made for me okay and these were made um by sebring organics in new zealand and um basically i picked a piece of um rainbow fluorite that's what these are and um he was able to make me some beautiful plugs out of that this is a mint opalite uh these are by diablo uh no oracle i apologize these are oracle organics these were made by evolve okay and rutilated quartz which are these gold indents in the quartz if you can see very beautiful rough stone um, has this gold in these gold inclusions all throughout. Um, and those are, C this is Sebring Organics as well. He was able to find me a very lovely piece of stone along with my uh, rainbow fluorite and made those for me. Oh, goodness. There are some more. Okay. Diablo Organics White Jade Eyelets. <clears throat> oh, my goodness. Now, I have forgotten where I got these from. They're Picasso Jasper. I know that, but I forgot where I got them from, and I apologize. Uh, these were a gift. Now, I do believe these right here, these are all the same um, uh, the same brand, okay, just so you guys know. These were a gift. As you can see, they got kind of a knock on them. These are cat eye. Uh, these were a gift from my best friend. She was at 38 millimeter and actually sewed um, up her ears, so she gave those to me as a gift these bad boys right here. Ooh. These are labdorite. We all know the labdorite, right? These are beautiful. And these were also custom made for me. It's a little bit hard to see the flash. You can kind of see it right there. Um, they are much more beautiful in the sunlight. There you go. See that flash. Oh, beautiful. I love those. Now I did receive some new plugs. I'm really excited for these. Um, and I've worn them once each. Very excited. So this is my red fern adornments, <laughs> uh, love box here. I love red fern adornments. They are by far my favorite plug maker. Um, as of right now, uh, besides Gorilla Glass, but when it comes to custom stone, you can't get any better, at least in my opinion. Um, these ones are my moss agate, and I, sorry, I just wore them so they're a little oily. You can see, I think this pair, you can see, see that inside. Ah, oh, beautiful. Gorgeous pair of plugs. This is moss agate, and that's my red fern adornment. Um, this pair of geodes from red fern, this pair of geodes from Red Fern as well. And this pair of these purple ones. Oh, just gorgeous. And then I've got some Graveyard Plume Agate from them. You can see the little inclusions in there. And how beautiful these are. These are absolutely beautiful. Um, I just received this pair and the moss pair um, from him about a weekend ago. So those are most of my plugs, okay? Um, I do have some other jewelry over here that I'll be happy to show. Um, like these, are, this is a cheap pair of silicone that I like can't wear. So if anybody wants a cheap pair of silicone, by all means, like kind of get in with me. I got this really cool pair um, from X Big Ears X, and that's Josh. Um, and he sells custom um, plugs that he makes himself. They are wood around, and then they have like a little, uh, he inclusions some cool like resin, acrylic stuff. It's actually really, really pretty. Um, in person, these are fun. If I'm doing like a rainbow look or something like that, I'll wear these quite a bit. Um, I just couldn't fit them in there, <laughs> so I kind of pushed them off to the side. Um, these, so this is this cheap silicone. We're going to move that over to the side. 
uh, these bad boys. Oh, so I just got these from Redfern Adornments as well. And they are this beautiful um, pair of fox skull weights. You can see they're just gorgeous and they're bronze. Absolutely beautiful. Freaking absolutely love with those. Can't even stop. I've worn them already twice and I just, I can't stop. Um, I have some more weights over here. Sorry. These are Maya. Um, I believe they are discontinued but they basically just sit in your ear like that. Just kind of dangle there for me because I have quite large ears. I have these crow raven um, ones that I got off of Etsy. I got these ones that I got off of Urban Body Jewelry. They're just little beetles that just kind of stick in your, in your ear. And then these bad boys. So I got these from my partner. He bought these for me. And they are Dendrite Labs honeycombs. These are the old version, um, but they basically just sit in your ear and they just hang there like that. Absolutely beautiful. Totally love these. Oh my God. Um, I do wear them quite often. That's a pair of plugs that I'm trying to sell. So I'm just going to not show those. And then there's some cheap ones in here that I'm also not going to show um, because I'm giving them away to some friends. Um, I tend to buy a lot of plugs. And then sometimes when I'm doing like free shipping, I'll just grab a cheap pair and then I'll give them to a friend. Um, or something along those lines. If I'm buying from like body art forums or anything like that. So I can put those back away where they belong. Um, I got some other stuff up here. I got these off of Etsy. And they are <laughs> these really cool raptor talon ones. The raptor talons are made out of like almost like a plaid. They're super light. So this is the only heavy part. Which is great because when you have really big ears, um, the stuff can get heavy. I got these really pretty ones. Um, now, these I have to wear with a silicone just because of how small the thing is. But if you can see, they're really pretty. They, I just wear them if like, I'm having a fancy day. Um, again, some cute little weights. These are from Urban Body Jewelry. They're pretty cool. Um, they are a play off of the Diablo ones that I've seen before. Same thing with these. These are also really cute. A little bit on the cheaper side. Um, so not I, I do wear them, but not often. I have these that are really pretty. These ones that are really pretty. I have two of those. And then these ones um, that I am probably going to give away to a friend because they just don't fit my aesthetic very much. Um, I do tend to get like things randomly pretty cheap or for free sometimes. And then I just give them away to friends who also are modded. Um, so yeah, I feel like I'm missing a pair but I might be mistaken. But I think that is all of our, everything. Oh, and of course, my industrial strength eyelets. These ones are always in my bathroom because I actually don't even put them in here since I wear them so often along with my fade plugs uh, that are in my ears right now. So yeah, that's pretty much everything from my collection and um, I'll see you guys in a minute. Okay, so that was the finale, that is my whole collection that I have at this time. Um, I do have some other plugs that I'm kind of either selling or getting rid of or kind of giving away. So I did not include those. These are mostly the ones that I really, really love and enjoy and are some of my favorite pieces. Um, one of the things that I cannot stress enough with plug making and um, purchasing um, your first pair of plugs or, or any of your pairs of plugs really is to make sure that you are getting them from a, a good seller, a good maker. Okay. There's what I have noticed over the years is there are a lot of plugs out there that are just mass made similar to everything that's on Amazon, right? Like stuff from China, stuff that's on Amazon, right? And those are not things that you want to put into your sensitive ears. Um, it's just not something you want to wear, okay? Most people would not wear earrings from Claire's. It's the same thing. Just because it's cheap, most of the time doesn't mean it's good. It doesn't mean it's always bad, right? Like, but your level of cheap may be different than my level of cheap. For me, a cheap pair of plugs at my size is like $100, right? If I can get anything lower than that, then I'm in a I'm going to, I'm in good luck. Right. Um, but when you are smaller, they do tend to be cheaper. And I feel that a lot of plug makers out there, um, who are very knowledgeable, um, kind of get passed up because fast fashion is kind of taking over a lot of things. And I am seeing a lot of like 
questionable stretching um, kits and plugs and things like that. Acrylic especially um, is something you want to stay away from. I cannot stress it enough. Um, in my 20 years of stretching, I have seen some really terrible, terrible injuries, um, reactions, things like that due to acrylic stretching. Please do not be fooled by a cheap price tag. Cheap is not what you want when you are doing a stretching journey. This is a journey. It is not something to rush. It is a journey that you are going to get to. Um, it is a positive, beautiful thing. Um, you are changing your body, you know, so just remember that. Um, this isn't something you can take away very easily. It costs a lot of money to get um, surgeries to fix your ears if you decide you want to do this. Um, and just remember also that there is no really breaking point when why what I mean by that is that if you even if you get to zero gauge two gauge a lot of people say that's your breaking point point meaning like they will shrink back that does not always happen everybody is different genetics um, things like that your skin is different everyone's skin is different so make sure that you are not going ahead and doing something that you may regret over time this is not something that you should do just because your friends doing it or because you saw your favorite YouTuber do it. That's not what this is about. You know, this is a, this is a journey um, and it's a beautiful one, you know, and it's something that you should accept for yourself and um, bring to light over time. Right. Um, it's something about acceptance and, and, and things like that um, and what you like about your body to accentuate it and make it different. Right. Um, just remember that this is not an easy uh, thing. It is a very long, long journey um, if you are doing it correctly and you're doing it safely. Um, so please, uh, that is me getting off. I'm, getting, I'm going to get off my soapbox, um, but I just want everybody to be very safe and very um, happy with their journey and not to do something just because it's trendy, right? Um, body mods are not something that should be trendy. It should be something that you accept within yourself before you do that. Um, and that's my preachy moment for the day. Um, and that's about it. I'm just going to go ahead and end it here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And I hope that um, you guys like my collection. And if you have any specific questions, um, if you have anything where you would like me to refer you to a plug maker or anything like that, that I would suggest, um, please let me know. I will be happy to do so. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye.